Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker. I'm going to be talking today uh, some more about oboe reed shapes. I'm going to be featuring these uh, four shapes from the Adam Shaper Tip line. This is uh, Sarah, this is Samson Plus One, this is Ruth Minus Two, and this is Ruth. You'll recall also that last week I talked about Caleb Minus One and Caleb. Um, so as you can observe, all of these uh, oboe tips are named after biblical characters, which I think is kind of quaint and charming. All of these tips are available from Anne Hodge at Hodge Products, Inc. Um, I've also got a chart from Anne Hodge that I'm looking at here and uh, sharing with you. Um, the difference between each of these named shapes is the curve, really, the way that the uh, reeds move from the throat to the belly to the... Uh, tip area up here. Um, and in all cases, those shapes, those curves are different. Um, then when they add the minus one, plus one, minus two, etc., uh, those are about narrowing or widening the specific curvatures of those two, of those reeds. So for example, um, here is Ruth, which is the widest of these shapes. Uh, it's widest in the, in the throat area and in the belly and at the tip, it's really like quite a beefy shape. The Ruth minus two takes five hundredths of a millimeter off each of those measurements, but maintains the basic curvature. Uh, whereas Samson is quite different. It's much narrower down in this area, the throat, the belly, um, but then it flares like as much as, as any of these tips do. They're all relatively straight, um, but Samson is the most flared. Whereas Sarah is quite wide down here, fairly beefy, and then almost toes in a little bit at the top. It's very straight through the uh, belly up into the tip. This, as I mentioned, is a Samson plus one, so it varies from whatever the original Samson was by 25 thousandths or 2.5 hundredths um, of millimeter. Caleb and Caleb minus one also are related by that same 25 thousandths of a millimeter. That is the, the difference as I understand it. Um, so each of these characters, as I mentioned, has their own characteristic. As before, my video is going to be strictly biased. Uh, everyone doesn't play like I play. Everyone doesn't want the exact same things out of their reads. Um, and, you know, sort of intuitive more than scientific. But here we go. This is the Sarah shape. As I mentioned, it is quite wide and beefy down here um, and relatively straight up in this area which gives it <laughs> maybe not the greatest response in the world, but does give it a really good uh, sound quality. So there's Sarah. It's a little bit difficult to get moving in the lowest register, but it holds its high register up really, really comfortably and nicely. Next we have the Samson Plus One. Um, in this line there's also a Samson Plus Three, but I don't own it. Um, as I mentioned, it's quite narrow in this area and then flares a bit up here, which makes the response in general quite easy. Uh, this is a shape that I'll often turn to uh, when uh, my my more standard shapes, the Caleb, the Joshua, the minus one N, are giving me trouble uh, pitch-wise. If I'm having difficulty getting the upper notes up to pitch, I might come back to Samson, which tends to uh, solve that problem for me. Samson. Uh, I'm going to go next to Ruth. This is uh, quite, as I said, a really beefy shape. Um, it's one that I loved early on in my career where I felt like I just wasn't making enough sound in the orchestra because I was playing on a little bitty Loray AK that was in uh, Violet Wood or Rosewood or something. Um, but I've since decided that it's not really for me. I have a hard time finding focus and I have a hard time holding on to pitch, but it's really got a nice a uh, satisfying sound. And yeah, 
I'll admit that response suffers a little bit in the lowest register. Please don't judge me. This is all examples. Um, I've also got Ruth minus two, which for me is actually a really nice, uh, has a really nice quality. That's five hundredths uh, narrower than the Ruth. Has a little, it's uh, got a little bit of a flare at the top. <laughs> nice compromise. Um, the the slight flare, just like the Samson has, um, makes it pretty easy to get a response, both in the low register and in the high register. I do have to hold on to this one a little bit up top, more so than the Samson, but significantly less so than uh, my Ruth down here. Hopefully you've been able to hear the difference between those shapes. I was asked to play uh, more extended excerpts on the shapes, and so I did that with the little classical symphony excerpt. I wanted to give you some low articulation, some high articulation, and some sense of uh, what the pitch situation was um, as I play these shapes, obviously. Uh, I hope that it has been somewhat helpful. Uh, this has been a five minute Readmaker lesson. You can follow these short videos right here on YouTube. You can subscribe if you wish. If you have questions or comments or concerns for me, or if you'd like to order Reads or Cane, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. And I hope to hear from you. I would love to know how I can help you more. I would love to know what questions you have about read making and uh, what other short videos I can put together for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.